What's good YouTube? This is Nakari coming back at you guys with another video and today I finally have a story time. Now I've made a story time in a cool minute because I had nothing to give stories about but this one is probably something that might interest some of you guys. I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments if it does. But today's story time will be how I started playing with my travel ball team front line. Well not my travel ball I started playing with the travel ball team. So it all started I'll say like three, four three, four months ago, four or three months ago, and me and my cousin, we were at we were in summer not summer school, what if we were in online school and we had got done it was an early day. No, it was an asynchronous day, which means you don't have no Zoom class, you just have work. And we had got done with all of our work and we were, and then we were like, oh, you want to, maybe we should go to the park. And like, we had asked our grandma, can we go to the park? And she was like, yeah, sure, I don't care. So we went to the park, and it was like, we were just shooting around. We played 21, and it was a van. It was this, like, van that pulls up. And I'm like, I'm looking at the van, and then I see a group of kids. No, I see a kid hop out with a medicine ball, and I'm like, I just, like, shrug my shoulders and like go back to playing the game with my cousin and uh, yeah actually no, I'm gonna just say her name I'm gonna say, I went back to go play with my cousin Brooklyn I'm gonna leave Brooklyn's Instagram down below you guys make make sure you guys go follow her because yeah you know very inspiring person right there but yeah I see a kid hop out with a medicine ball he got like three of them in a big bag with um basketballs and um but that sounded sick. No home. But yeah, he's hopping out with the um equipment and I see like a whole group of kids and two adults come out the car and I'm like, it's a basketball team <laughs> So then we're like me and Brooklyn don't pay no mind, they just go over there and they start working out on the court and we just continue to play our game of twenty one and then out of nowhere out of nowhere, it was like, we see like the two coaches, there's like two, at the time, there's three, but the other coach was training the, like the um, kids, and then the, um, the two coaches who were standing there watching, there was one that was tall and he had a hat on, um, yeah, he had walked over to us and was like, oh, you guys, you guys are pretty good over here, do you guys have like, any like team you guys play for, and we were like, no. And they were like, do you guys live in the area? And he was like, yeah, we live across the street and stuff like that. And they were just asking us questions and stuff. And we were like, nah. And it was like, well, we come over here and we train every day for like our basketball tournaments. And yeah, just ask your parents if you guys want to play for our team and stuff. And we were like, uh, okay, we don't know if they'll say yes because of the um, pandemic going on. But we know they might agree with it or they might talk to us about it. So we were like, yeah, we'll let you know. And after that, I let my dad know, and he had walked up there, he walked up there to the park, and he saw the coach, and he was talking to the coach, and it was like, yeah, I had saw them over there at the, <laughs> I had saw them over there on the court, and they seemed pretty good, so I walked over there and asked them, do they have a team to play with, and my dad was like, nah, they don't got a team to play with it right now, and it was like, oh, would you mind, like, your, um, your son playing with, um, with the team, and then my dad was like, yeah, sure. So then, you know, he we get back home, and my dad's like, oh, I don't want to hear you whining, all this other stuff, saying you don't want to do this, because you asked to do this, and all this other stuff. Because the only reason he was saying that is because he made me practice with, um, with a, uh, it was this guy who lives, like, on the other block, from, a block away from us, and he goes to the beach every morning to play basketball and run games with, like, a group of people like random people there so my dad wanted me to train with him and he was paying him and I didn't even want to do it so I was like why are you paying him to train me and I don't want to do it that's the reason why I didn't really like like I wasn't really like into it like that it was like whatever but then he was like oh I don't want to hear no whining I wasn't even whining I just said I didn't want to do it because you know I had started YouTube when I started doing that it was like last summer but anyway Anyway, after that, my dad was like, I don't want to hear no whine. I was like, no, I'm not going to whine. And I was like, so he was like, okay. And we went the next day and we went to practice. We were practicing. 
And yeah, that's how we just started practicing. We just started practice, and we went the whole entire week. We don't practice on Fridays. We just practice Monday through Thursday, and then we had a tournament on um, the weekend. And the first ever tournament I played with them, I had one MVP, and I had got some free practice shorts. And yeah, that's they. I think I showed them in the shorts collection, and they were. I would go look for them, but I don't feel like looking for them right now. So, you know, yeah, that's it. That's it for this story time. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. And let me know what other videos you guys want to see next. Peace. Oh, and also, um, I forgot what I was about to say. But yeah, I'm going to leave, um, the, I'm going to leave, <laughs> I'm going to leave Frontline's Instagram down below in the description. And I'm going to leave Brooklyn's Instagram down below in the description. Shout out to them. And, um, yeah, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know other videos you guys want to see next. And peace.